Uh, well, it was just, it's just kind of a quick play, so, uh, uh, but it was kind of chancy, I guess, but we, because usually you want to wait to make sure they're in the setup, and something happened. Oh, I know, one of the guys, one of the kids was hurt early, and, and, and so Martel Strange had to run in the game and kind of delayed it a little bit. Uh, and then we could see that they were lined up like we thought they were going to be lined up, so we said, yeah, let's go ahead. I didn't really mean to do it to send a message to the team. I thought the team didn't really need any messages. They, they were ready to play and they were anxious to, to perform well. And, and, uh, uh, and we did it because it was there, you know, and we thought we could do it. So it really was. I guess they've heard enough of my messages. I'm sure proud of these guys. I'm so happy for them. They're such a nice bunch of young adults and young men, and they're just uh, really fun to work with. It's been a hard three weeks, obviously. Um, I think the thing that was the hardest for me is just to lay there at night and think about how good they could possibly be, you know, and, and uh, how the ball just hasn't bounced our way or we've missed tackles or things haven't worked out well. And it, it's just heartbreaking to see them work so hard and do the things that we ask and then not have them be successful on the scoreboard. <clears throat> but uh, we said, don't look at the scoreboard this week. Just look at the other guy and do what the coach tells you to do. And it worked out just fine. You really don't want the reasons because <laughs> they'll sound like excuses. But I think some of the some of the, the, the center injuries, you know, were difficult. And with the quarterback injury, it was difficult to get our timing down offensively. And we didn't really do all that great statistically. Uh, the second half, we didn't have the ball that much, but we did make plays. You know, we made plays like you know that we can make and um, and Trevor I thought did an outstanding job and, 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 other, and a couple of passes the guys made really, really good catches and we hit we hit them we we hit number 48 they're a big running back and he's a big strong dude and, and uh, we knocked him out we got after them uh, pretty good so it was a hard hitting game on both sides. Our defense is playing so hard keeping everything in front of them one pass that they throw deep, just kind of on a scissors play like that where the guys go, we diagrammed, they knew about it, we diagrammed it on the sideline and told the players and it, he just didn't, you know, he just messed up for some reason, the guy was wide open. But uh, just keeping the ball in front, you know, they're good. It's not like, you know, they throw the ball, they know what they're doing. And that guy can check down, so they're going to go over here and throw and that guy's covered, he'll check it down to another guy. And, and so, uh, um, but we just, Confidence. I told the coaches when we came out in the second half there in the third quarter, I said, call your plays with confidence, your play selections. Have confidence. Don't worry about what's going to happen. Just go ahead and play, you know, call it the way you think you see it and don't worry about it. anybody making a mistake. Let's play with confidence in the second half. They got penalties and they were kind of uh, self-destructive it looked like. So. We were the mature ones over there, and and, uh, and looked, uh, you know, uh, we weren't getting penalized like they were. So I think uh, probably Coach Jones is upset with officiating. I don't know you won't probably say anything, but we can't say anything about it. But, but uh, it was some long delays, wasn't there? I don't know if we'll have Donald Bucker next week or not. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. He needs. It says it. He has a sprained foot. Yeah. yeah. But obviously we lost last night's game. That was a horrible thing to happen. Yeah. Last year he broke his one leg and now he broke his other leg. Helps tremendously. It gives you 20 more practices too. So it helps the players, you have the players get better. And that's usually what you do. You, you prepare for the game with your with your veterans and then you, you take the other kids and scrimmage them and get them better and more football. Really, I didn't even know that it was called. I was you know, getting ready to sit and watch the defense and they took our front. I, you know, it kind of gave us a little motivation knowing that Coach Price was, you know, Really in it, in it to win it, and you know, seeing that at the beginning of the game, giving us the opportunity to go for it on that fourth down, and you know, give us another opportunity to score was big for us. I think it did. Um, you know, Coach Price is really a player's coach, and the way he thinks is uh, giving us opportunities and putting us in positions to be successful. And, um, I think he felt like our team was ready to play tonight. And, you know, he wasn't gonna, he wasn't gonna hold us back by any close yardage plays or anything, and give us a chance to take it. Uh, I think it was real big. Uh, you know, drive down and score with, you know, just a little bit of time on the clock going into halftime was really big. Um, you know, it kind of gave us momentum going into half and took a little bit from them. And, uh, you know, it really built our confidence.
It's really the team knowing that you know we finished out the first half. We saw 30 minutes ago. Yeah, it feels real good. Um, you know, we haven't been able to get over that hump since I've been here, and uh, I think every one of us has been saying that you know, we finally got it off our back and got over that hump, and it feels so good. Um, everything that they did really defensively was what we saw on film. They didn't do anything different. They didn't have any schemes for us. And, um, I think everything that we prepared for, we saw, and uh, we really executed what we needed to do and we were driving down the field. Um, you know, they were bringing blitzes and we were beating their blitzes, and I feel like that kind of put pressure on them defensively and kept them from doing that because they were, you know, being there. I don't know, you know, it's not a confident thing at all. It's uh, making the plays and uh, throwing it in there and the receivers, you know, making the plays when it got to them. And, um, you know, I, I guess I could say that I was careless with the ball the last few weeks and uh, definitely wasn't going to put our uh, team in jeopardy by turning the ball over and that was one of my goals going into the game to protect the ball. It, it was big. It was just, like I said, it kept giving us extra momentum to keep going forward. I know Trev knew what he was doing and then when your number's called, you just got to make that play. And since my number's called on that, I just made it. Honestly, just after this last home game win, we was uh, sky high already. Sky's the limit. We passed the sky right now. This feels great right now. And we're just ready to go. Last two games, we gotta go out with a bang. We still got uh, goals as a team. We we know that we got two more games. We're not gonna just go out and not practice hard and yeah, say okay, yeah. fly out to Arkansas and get big. We're gonna give them everything we got. You know, we work hard every week. You know, we go out this week practice every hard week. We're gonna be ready to go. We knew adversity would come. You know, we just had to persevere as a unit. You know, collect ourselves, make adjustments, and just go out there and execute. Um, you know, you know, throughout the course of the season, you know, you're going to take blows, but it's how you really respond to those that count, and we, we did that. These past few weeks, it's like the ball went bouncing away, you know, we get some really tough breaks. You know, for us to respond that way, and for all that, all the chain of events, you know, them messing up, them not executing, you know, it helped us out. You know, we got to take that as it is, and, you know, play as hard as we can. Defense, you know, we're a kind of a bend and don't break kind of unit, you know. We've had teams, you know, hit us with big plays, big plays, but we've responded, you know. Uh, really, the seniors helped us a lot throughout this game. The seniors on defense, it's kind of that mentality we have that, you know, they're not, we're not going to let them score. You know, we take it personal every yard they get, every first down they get, and we just try to do our thing. New defense knew how important the game was. Continue. Well, oh, yeah, the defense knew how important this game was, and you know we have a couple, we have a few seniors on the defense, and uh, a lot of families came into town to watch this game. You know, ticket requests were really full for seniors, and we just really wanted to perform well in front of our families. And uh, you know, Coach Patterson and all the assistant coaches, you know, they prepared us well, and it was just a matter of us coming out and executing the way we know how. With this win, we become bowl eligible, but we understand that that's not guaranteed. Our bowl isn't guaranteed to us, so uh, we need to come out this week and just practice as hard as we can. And, you know, we got Arkansas up next. It's going to be a tough game, but it's not impossible.